And grocery stores among the few businesses still bustling with customers amid the uh, coronavirus outbreak here. So, how are the workers coping with the chaos and the constant contact with so many people all day long? NBC4's Rick Montanez live right now in Boyle Heights with one employee's major concerns here. Rick. Yeah, Colleen, the lines are still long at these stores, and the patience for some people is running low. That grocery store worker today tells me specifically she's worried about her job here on the front lines, a critical job, but one that wor she worries could get her sick with the coronavirus. She also fears she could get hurt if some of these customers continue to be unruly. <laughs> There is a nonstop hustle and bustle inside just about every grocery store everywhere. People are buying what they can, and as quick as workers are trying to restock, shelves are still empty. This is at noon. It's really scary. Veronica Duran, like many others, reached out to NBC4, worried about her safety at work on the front lines at a grocery store. Because anxiety, I can't even sleep, and, and President Trump state says stay away from people, and it's just full of people. Federal guidelines call for limiting crowds to 10 or fewer people. Many Many grocery stores are trying to maintain that social distance, but it's not always easy. I go to work with all this on, covering everything I could from having my hair. I wear a beanie and just because I'm just scared of somebody coughing on me and stuff. I'm just yeah. scared. And it's not just that. Shoppers at stores across the area are losing patience as they stock up and wait in long lines. We have customers that are actually going in the back to see if my boss is not lying to them. Like, where it's employees only looking for water. Duran says she's seen it happen a lot, especially with limits placed on items like water and toilet paper. So when our cashiers tell them they can only get two cases, they start cussing out the cashier, and then they literally start running out with water now. People are really pushing each other. Customers have noticed it too at Costco, Ralph's, any grocery store really, and the request now from customers and the stores themselves, keep calm and be nice. Yeah, just a little extra patience maybe when you come out here. Kroger, which owns Food for Less, says it will pay its employees up to two weeks if they end up getting sick with the coronavirus. It also says that individual workers can talk with their supervisors about needing time off. And Kroger also says as for safety, most Food for Less locations actually already have security guards. Reporting live in Boyle Heights, Rick Martinez, NBC4 News. Rick, thank you.